Long one. Come on, you idiots. How do you not convert there? Ah, oh, Robbie for Bree. Come on, Halifax. Come on, Halifax. Come on, Halifax. Someone. Uh, it's not happening. All right. There you go. Trevor Hansick. That's what I'm talking about. That man is clutch. Second period. There you go. Corey Perry. And we have a two-goal lead going into the third period. We haven't given up a goal yet. All right. There you go. Jay Connolly, baby. Jay Connolly. The young guns are stepping up. Well, I mean, Corey Perry's not young, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Trevor Hansick and Connolly and... There you go. All right, three nothing win. All right, come on, boys. I want to go up two to one in this series. Come on, Halifax. Please get a big win for the fans here in Halifax. Come on, come on, come on, Halifax. You're clutch. Yes, Jay Connolly gets the overtime goal. Here we go. Come on, Halifax. Come on, Halifax. I'm just staring at the three on our side. Ah, eh, Schwartz. All right. All right, second period. There we go. Trevor Hansick, baby. The clutch performer. Our future captain, possibly. All right, come on, Halifax. We could go up 3-2 to two here. I'm not going to get ahead of myself, though, because I know the St. Louis Blues can come back, especially with one shot from Tarasenko. Oh, come on. Come on, Halifax. Please shut her down, Corpusalo. Come on. Come on. <laughs> one minute. Yes. <laughs> We're up 3-2. <laughs> All right. Yes, Derek Stepan. Derek Stepan. All right, we have a lead. Get a kill. Get a kill. Get a kill. Oh, Jaden Schwartz. I knew it. Yeah, they have the firepower, boys. They have the firepower, especially with Tarasenko. Yes, Greg Meyer, baby. Greg Meyer. Greg Meyer. Okay. We're up by one. Please. Please. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Done. I don't want to go to a game seven. Please don't go to a game seven. Come on, Halifax. Let's just end it right here. Please. Please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Robbie for Bree. <laughs> Please. Ah, uh, it's going to a game seven, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to a game seven. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? That just about sums up this season, though. That really does. Come on, Halifax. Oh, it's coming down to the wire. Are we going to a freaking overtime in the Stanley Cup Finals Game 7? Oh, my God. <laughs> you just had to do this to me, Gabe, didn't you? You just had to do this to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. You know what? <sighs> Boys. <laughs> Everything you've been working for in this season has been go uh, is, is in this period right here. Don't fail me. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> Bishop ends it. And our hopes and dreams are crushed. We need four out of five to get a 60 win season. Is it possible? That we could get a 60 win season here in Halifax. I'm not going to, as I said, not going to jinx it. So let's just take it game by game. Let's go Toronto. Because uh, we can only, we only have one more loss here. So we'll go one game at a time. Let's see, Toronto, what's that going to be? That is going to be a 2-1 to one win. All right, all right. Don't get ahead of yourself now. Still got uh, three more wins to go. Minnesota, what's, what's this going to turn out to be here minnesota is gonna be a three to one win okay we're getting there 58 wins is it gonna happen boys is it gonna happen <laughs> come on oh two to one win <laughs> we're so close we're so close to that 60th win boys oh we have two games to do it we have two games to do it come on boys let's get to 60 let's get to 60 come on come on halifax 60 yes boys 60 win season for the Halifax Tugboats. I don't believe it. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Good job, boys. Good freaking job. <laughs> and a 7-6 overtime win against Florida to cap off the season. 61 wins. I don't believe it. That's amazing. Uh, game 5 against the Kings. Come on, boys. Yes, there you go. Kozlov from Larianov and Dandano on the power play. Second period, all right. Draper from Maltby and Holmstrom. Third period, yeah, all right. We win the series. Kozlov from LaPointe and Murphy on the power play. And then the empty net 
is LaPointe from Shanahan. All right. So here we go. Game number five at home. Can we do it? <laughs> Very nice, boys. Very nice first period. Kozlov from Eisenman and Fedorov. Fedorov from Murphy and Holmstrom. Fedorov from Kozlov and Dandano. Second period. All right. Nothing doing there for us. But the third period, Murphy from Dandano and Fedorov. 4-1 in the final score. We are moving on to the third round. Let's do this. We're 3-2 in the series. Come on now. First period. Uh, all right. <laughs> I mean, crazy first period. So the Avalanche gets three goals, but then we get two, so we're, we're close. Shanahan from Fedorov and McCown, and then LaPointe from Maltby and Draper. Second period. There you go, Gilchrist and Brown. Or, uh, from Brown. Go Chris from Brown. Third period. There you go, boys. We are moving off to the Stanley Cup Finals. Lidstrom from Fedorov and Eisenman. McCarty from Holmstrom and Murphy. And we are going to be in the Stanley Cup Finals against... <laughs> oh, the New Jersey Devils. We have a 1995 rematch against the New Jersey Devils. Yeah, I gotta get Kozlov in there now. Got to. All right. Hopefully this doesn't cost us putting Kozlov in there early. All right, game number six. Come on. Uh, I almost said New Jersey. Too used to saying that. Come on, Detroit. Let's go. First period. All right, yes. Iserman from Lidstrom and Fedorov. Fedorov from Iserman and McCown. Second period. Uh, oh, boy. All right, all right. Arnott from Thomas and Danico. Andrew Chuck from Sore and Moir on the power play and then Kozlov from Iserman and it's gonna be a win for the Detroit Red Wings and we win the Stanley Cup in year number one very nice boys very nicely done game number one in Halifax here we go Alexander Barkov taking the face off and <laughs> Eliza Lindholm before I even uh quicks him all right first period oh my god Jake Bean twice on Corpusalo. oh man that's not good second period all right all right Jerry Frank Jerry Frank coming through in the clutch. Third period. Here we go. Come on, Halifax. All right. Nico Rantanen, the new acquisition at the trade deadline. Come on, Halifax. Get me one more at least. Get me one more at least. Preferably two. Maybe even three if you want to. Come on, boys. Come on, Halifax. You're getting the shots on the net. You just need to find a hole. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Lars Haglund. Okay. Okay. Uh, come on, Halifax. Come on, Halifax. Ah, Brett Connolly. As soon as I trash talk him. Uh, <laughs> we go down one nothing immediately. First period. All right, there you go. That's more like it. Vladimir Tarasenko, Connolly twice. Second period. All right, all right. I'll take it. Curse Lazar, but then Brett Connolly. He's on fire on the fourth line. You know, he's, he's proven me wrong. <laughs> Maybe I should use snipers on the fourth line. All right, third period. Here we go. We got this game. Okay. Solid. Solid game, Halifax. That's the kind of game you have to have every single game for the rest of the playoffs, okay? <laughs> um, second period. Uh, <sighs> Norton, Rask, Gordon, and then Gordon again, and then Gallagher for us right on for the net. <sighs> All right, Halifax. You got to you gotta do something here. Need an early goal right here. Come on, Halifax. Need an early goal. Need an early goal from someone. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I don't see it coming back from this. Yeah, no. That's uh, yeah, that that game was over. <laughs> Let's do this. Come on, I hate overtime. I really hate overtime. 17 minutes, 16, 15. Yes, okay, Vladimir Tarasenko, okay. <laughs> oh, we're still in this series. Okay. We can't fail our fans. Let's go. First period. <laughs> Saber and a coil. Second period. Uh, okay, okay, all right. I'll take that. I will take that. We're only down by one. Saber in again. But Barkov and Gallagher for us at the end of the period. Ah, uh, Sorella. <sighs> Come on, Halifax. Please don't let us go down 3-2. to two. Don't let us go down 3-2. to two. Someone get a goal now. Someone get a goal now. Uh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Gallagher making it interesting. Ah. Uh. Oh man, make it! Made, he made it too interesting. Uh, he got me a little bit too hyped. Oh man, I'm not liking it though. All right, come on, second period. Uh, all right, all right. Solid, Brendan Weber and Brendan Gallagher. Perfect. That was a that was a great move putting him on the first line. I recognize that he's been producing for us, and he came through. All right, we have a two goal lead going into the third period. Halifax, do not give this up. two, one. All right, all right. Game seven. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why do you guys do this to me? Score. <laughs> the third period. Come on. Please. Please. Halifax, what are you doing? Halifax. Halifax. Ten minutes remaining. Oh, come on, boys. <laughs> no, kill it off. Kill it off. Five on three. What are you idiots doing? Oh, man. Ah, oh, no. Saber in. Come on, Halifax. Come on, Halifax. Ah. Nine seconds remaining. Here we go. Come on, Hudon. Win that for me, please. Thank you. Nice tie up. And uh, just get it out of here. <laughs> that was a little. That was weird. That was a weird animation right there. I was I was going for just a, a dump, but it ended up looking like a chop. <laughs> uh, oh, Hansik, he's loose. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, we have to see that again. Let's let's just let's just appreciate this for a moment. <laughs> so Hensick tries to go backhand, and let's see this. Tuka Rask makes an amazing save, or not? Well, I wouldn't say amazing. Just good save, good save. Throws the pad out, and then pushes Hensick into the corner. He goes flying. Let's see. <laughs> oh man, let's see this again. Uh, oh, camera's on the puck. Let's see. Hensick, he... Yeah, he gets... <laughs> he gets pretty much tackled by Tuka Rask. Let's see this again. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. He goes airborne. <laughs> Hensick's literally airborne, like a foot off the ice. And just goes flying into the referee. Let's see. Oh! oh. <laughs> he goes at... Oh, man. He goes uh, pretty much... Front first into the boards. Oh man, that, that <laughs> he literally gets sent into the boards from in front of the crease. Look at this. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is fantastic, guys. We did it. One thousand subscribers. Um, I'm speechless. <laughs> Now, we can go ahead to the draft and we'll see where we're picking. And we'll also see the, re also see the retirements. Hopefully Clarkson retires. And I would imagine Elias will retire as well. Like he did in real life just yesterday. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, okay. Wow, so. Boys. We have the first overall pick, the third overall pick, and the twelfth overall pick. Ooh, that was a clutch trade to Winnipeg. I for I completely forgot about that trade to Winnipeg. I completely forgot about that. That was clutch. Ooh, that was a big trade. Those are two big trades right there. Oh man, I wasn't expecting that uh, that Winnipeg wouldn't be in the playoffs though. Man, come on. Back in the saddle room. Let's go, boys. First period. All right. St. Louis from Pitlick and Gucci. But then for us, Federov from Malpe and Eisenman. Okay. Second period. Ooh, McGinnis from Ginla and Thompson on the power play. Third period. There we go. We have a tie. Federov from Holmstrom and Eisenman and O'Donnell from Ward and Federov. And then for them, Castles from Flurry and Morris. Overtime. There you go, Iserman with the game winner and the series winner from Hammerlick and Holmstrom, game number four. Here we go, boys. The broomsticks are out once again for the Red Wings. First period, wow, okay. <laughs> once again, a shootout of a first period. McCarty from Brunette and Dotsuk and Brown from Malpe and Busia, but then Neuendijk from Friesen and Nolan, Quintel from Viznovsky and Friesen on the power play. Suter from Viznovsky and Neuendijk on the power play. And then Friesen from Neuendijk and Viznovsky on the power play. All right. The second period, boys. There you go. Butts yet from Brown. All right. We're, the, we're within one. Going into the third period. Come on, boys. Come back is certainly possible. Yeah, there you go. Within the last minute, you regroup from uh, Fedorov and Lidstrom ties the game. And we're going to an overtime in the game number four. And the broomsticks are still in effect for the Red Wings. Here we go, boys. 
Yeah, there you go. Two sweeps in a row for the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, Anders Ericsson from Andrew Brunette and Pavel Dotsuk. And let's just go, boys. Let's go. Oh, and I simulate a pass it, but we win 5-3 to three and the series 4-1. To one, perfect. We are in the Stanley Cup Finals, and uh, whew, looks like it was an offensive onslaught for us in the first half of the game. Stevenson from Holmstrom and Draper, then Lidstrom from Hammerlick and Kozlov on the power play. Kozlov from Lidstrom and Krupp on the power play once again, and then Kozlov again in the second period from McCarty and Krupp, and then Stevenson from Draper and O'Donnell. But then Hanzus from Rafalski answers back one, and then Myers from Conroy and. Titov is that <laughs> answers two and then Titov from Myers answers back three but good thing they did not answer back all the way all right here we go game number five the Stanley Cup is in the building on home ice in Detroit let's go first period Osa from Prospel and Redden and then Oliver from Soro and Redden yeah that was gonna happen the Ottawa Senators they're a good team second period there you go boys 2-2 game. McCarty from Kozlov and Lidstrom. And then Brunette from Datsuk and Lidstrom. Whew, third period. Oh, game f five. Overtime. Doesn't get any better than this, boys. Here we go. Yeah, boys. Brunette from McCarty and Datsuk. And we win the Stanley Cup. For a... What is that? Third time... Third time this series. Oh, we're in the second round. All right, hold on. Let's let's get fast forward. I was <laughs> I was positive we were going in the in the first round after that performance we had. All right, let's fast forward. Let's fast forward here. Where are we going? The Pittsburgh Pirates. Wow. All right. <laughs> there you go. We've been selected by the Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay, advance. Here we go. <laughs> game number six in Philadelphia first period I'm done I'm done with prop man <laughs> Voracek and Calvert oh my god I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm done I'm done Havlid Voracek and then Balsers for us it doesn't even matter third period I'm just gonna yeah freaking six goals in game number six good job prop good freaking job slow clap for you oh my god yeah he's he's out of here boys he's so out of here it's just a matter of they need to pull through. <laughs> it's just plain and simple. Because <sighs> when you take a look at our lineup, like up and down our lineup, so many good players. Like no one on our forward core below an 83. And then our defensive core, no one below an 85. Freaking ridiculous. And then and then our goaltender situation, 91, 84. I mean, it's just <laughs> we should be in a much better position than we are now. Hopefully that's the case with the playoffs. But, I mean, geez. Okay, so... One thing <laughs> that I wanted to check out is Columbus because I know we traded prop to them, so I want to see how they're doing over there. So player stats, <laughs> I saw they were first in the NHL too, so I'm curious as to how that's going over there. Columbus, let's see. So Pierre-Luc Dubois, Brandon Saad, Bjorkstrand. Byers 87, Warensky 93, Jesus, Martin 86, Morozov 85, Jenner 87, Carlson 84, Lemieux 85, jeez, they get, they're, they're stacked, Murray 87, Jones 87, uh, Savard 87, my god, <laughs> I mean, they got some pretty good players on this team, boys, they got some pretty good players, let's see, goaltenders prop, let's see, do, uh, um, did they trade prop? <laughs> Let's see this. I mean, it says this guy, Lyon, and then Rafalski have played 47 of 16. Did they not even play a single game with prop? <laughs> Let's see this. I mean, he, they're getting it done. <laughs> so, I mean, I give them credit, but is he is he in the minors? Is he in the minors by chance? Cleveland Moss, that's, that's Columbus's minor league team, right? Yeah. No, he's not in... Where's prop? <laughs> Where's prop? Hold on, let's see. Let's see this. Entire league. Goaltenders. Prop. He's in LA. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I mean, it's, it's not, he's not doing that bad. 918. 
But then again, we all know <laughs> Christian Prop falters in the playoffs, not the regular season. <laughs> Look at that contract. Five years for 12.3. Ridiculous. Man. <laughs> oh, what a bust. What a bust during the playoffs. <laughs> so sad. Seven minutes to go. Five minutes. Four. Three. Ah, Shankaruk on Mathot. Come on, boys. Yes, Trevor Hatsik. We win the series. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. This game's over. This game is over. You knew they were going to have one game in them. Uh, okay, Voloshenko. <laughs> Come on now, boys. Oh, LaPointe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Laurent LaPointe. Trevor Hansick. Okay. Come on. Come on, boys. Ah, kill Flurry. <laughs> ah, the game just had to tease me like that, didn't it? Let's just get the win. First period. Okay, there we go. Markov, yes, Hansik and McCollum, the first line, the entire first line coming to play. I mean, as usual, <laughs> freaking Barkov and Hansik, I mean, they're making names. They're, they're, both of them have entered their names into the ballot for the captaincy next year because <laughs> they're just on fire nonstop throughout this entire playoff so far. All right, second period. There you go, Barkov. <laughs> yes. Sabrin and then Weber with his first playoff goal. Less than 10 minutes remaining. Yeah, there's no there's no way. Yeah, Voloshenko putting the dagger in the Carolina Hurricanes hopes of coming back in this game. There you go. 7-2 to win. That's what I like to see. Going up 3-1. to one. First period. Okay. Pa Pavel Kozlov scored before I could even press X. <laughs> and then uh, Chad Coyle for Carolina. So... All right, we're uh, being outshot 10 to 7, but the score is 1 to 1, so that's all that matters right now. Second period. There you go, yes. Sabrin and Connolly. Yes. Okay. Here we go, boys. Three minutes, two minutes, one. Yes. <laughs> this is the year, boys. Barkov, 18 points. <laughs> Yikes, if we win the Stanley Cup, this guy's getting captaincy for sure. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> what a run so far with him. The opponents, so obviously they got Austin Matthews, but uh, Timoshev, 83, and Ivan in 86. So not the greatest first line. I mean, obviously Austin Matthews brings those two guys up a lot, but uh, ooh. <laughs> Rocco Gamaldi, 79 of the second line. A hurdle, and... Uh, what? Uh... Two Tommy Ivanins. What is this? One of them's a left wing. One of them's a right wing. They're both different heights. They're both two way forwards. They're four ages. They're four, they're four years apart. One's a lefty. One's a right. Huh? One's making three point seven seven five. The other's making five point. Ah. Uh, I want to say that's a glitch, but I don't think it is because they're different heights, different weights, different positions, different age, and different shot. So, at different potentials, too. So, it's like, okay, Tommy Ivan and times two. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. They're both on the same team, too. <laughs> and they're both right wingers on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, my goodness. Like, you, you guys are seeing this, right? You guys are seeing what I'm seeing. I'm not going crazy or anything. Overtime game number one. Let's go. Let's see who's it gonna be. It's gonna be Jocelyn, baby, for Halifax. Three. Is anything gonna happen? Two. One. Yeah, baby. Okay. Two nothing lead. Thanks. There you go. Brin point on McCola. Okay. Don't get too excited. It's still tie game. Anything could happen in overtime. Let's just. Man, I'm 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 losing my voice. Just. Play hockey like you know how to. We are out shooting them 36 to 22. Come on. One shot wins the game. One shot wins the game. Let's go. Overtime. Come on. Halifax. Let's go. Let's not waste any time. Jocelyn with the overtime winner. We go up 3 to 2. Yes. This is the year. Come on. One goal wins it. One goal wins it. Oh no. Toronto with an extended power play. Oh, Jared McCann. Both pronunciations of his name. That I don't know how to pronounce, really. Yes. Stanley Cup Finals, here we come. <laughs> 
Two to one win against Toronto in game number seven of round number three, and we go to the Stanley Cup Finals. All right, not gonna get too excited. Again, it's only game number one, but that's good news <laughs> that we at least won a game. All right, hold on. Four minutes remaining. Three, two. Yeah, it's Brendan Weber with the empty net. We're going up to nothing in the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Come on, boys. Tie it late. Ah, I got draw. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We haven't been able to go up 3 nothing at all in the playoffs yet, but we have won every series so far, so maybe that's a good omen. First period. Yes! Brendan Weber, Trevor Hansik, Alexander Barkov, the clutch trio. Yes! Second period. Yes, Jerry Frank on John Gillies. They had to go to Gillies as well after Jerry let in three in the first period. Okay, boys. Okay, boys. We're poised to go up 3-1 to one in the Stanley Cup Finals versus Calgary. Do not choke. There you go. Bye check on Gillies. This, this game is all ours. Uh, there's no way they're coming back. Fuji, Fu on Mathot, whatever. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. We got this game, boys. We have got this game. Lars Haglin on Gillies to make it 6-1. to one, And we go up 3 to one in the series. This is hype, boys. This is hype. <laughs> Three minutes left. Someone on Halifax. Clutch final minute goal. Is happening? No. Okay. <sighs> Still two more opportunities to do it. Game number six in Calgary. Let's just, let's get it done. Come on. First period. <sighs> Come on. No, don't do this to me. <laughs> Second period. All right, we made up ground, but uh, they got another one as well, Armstrong. But then Jocelyn and Connolly for us. We're within two. <laughs> Game seven, of course. Of course, it had to be this way. It's all on the line, boys. Game number seven. This is what it comes down to. Oh my God, uh, we had a three-one lead. Here we go. There's no other line changes I could have made. Let's just do this. Uh, yeah, no, this is too dense. Can't quick sim. Can't quick sim. Come on. Let's go. First period. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, it just had to be like this, didn't it? Times four. Third period. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> we had a 3 1 lead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Charlie Cadrow. No, Charlie has to fuck. Oh my god, three goals within a minute, not even a minute, 29 seconds. <sighs> alright, alright, brain point. Oh my god, oh my god, come on, Alifax. Uh, we had a 3-1 lead, we had a 3-1 lead, Jocelyn, we had a 3-1 lead, we had a 3-1 lead, come on. Last minute hero, no, no, I have to, I have to intervene, I have to, I have to, no, I'm not gonna play, I'm just gonna... I just have to watch. I, I have. I have to watch. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! 58 seconds left. Down by one. Come on, boys. Get it done. Get it done. I'm watching. <sighs> Carson with the puck. Gets it to Estefan. Estefan dangling with it. A point takes it. Come on. Gets it over to Voloshenko. 46 se seconds remaining. Can't even talk. Let's go. Haglin. In front, over to Voloshenko. Oh, oh come on. <sighs> yeah, with the save. Come on, Barkov. You need a goal. You need a goal. Uh, oh, boy. We have an occult ending change, apparently. Gilbert Mathot, yes. Gilbert Mathot is getting in there. I don't I don't know why Yeri was in there. Or not Yeri. Goodness gracious. Um, Ronaldo, but <laughs> apparently he was. Come on, Halifax. Let's go. Let's go. Barkov loses the faceoff. Of course he does. Come on. Uh, come on. Play some defense now. Come on, Weber.
Important red bat. Uh, yeah, I'm swinging at that. I'm swinging at that. Perfect. Oh, is that a dinger? That's gone. Dinger for the live stream, boys. There we go. First career home run. That was a perfect. That was a perfect pitch to swing at. There you go. First major league home run for the Hensick. The Hensick. I, I meant to say the Hen. Oh man. There you go. What a dinger. As we take, I believe, a seven to six lead here in the game against Miami, and what a hit! What a hit! <laughs> I, I, for a second, I thought that was gonna be out of the park. There you go. Let's watch the celebration. No celebration. Oh, come on, everyone's ignoring me. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so the LA Kings have accepted our trade. That is beautiful. We now have the first overall pick. And boys, I'm not gonna, I, I don't need any time for this. I already know who we're picking. It's gotta be. The man, the myth, the legend, the American sniper, Kirk Koleakovo. Welcome to the San Jose Sharks, and he is a medium franchise, 81 overall. What should we call, should we call Koleakovo? Give him a nickname. Captain Kirk? I think so. <laughs> the future captain of the San Jose Sharks. The future captain of the San Jose Sharks right there. Over to the current captain of the San Jose Sharks, Joe Thornton. Oh yeah, there you go. What a goal by Cole Akavo. As he snipes that par down. Look at this. Cole Akavo on the power play. The current captain to the future captain. Unreal. Let's see that again. Beautiful saucer pass from Thornton to Cole Akavo. Beauty. Let's try to get him the hat trick. <laughs> That's already two goals in this game. Uh, get it to Akabo. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Hat trick for Kola Akabo, boys. Unreal. Unreal. In the preseason. See the reaction. Yeah, there you go, boys. The first hat trick of Kola Akabo. In preseason, of course, but still. Good for him. The future is bright here in San Jose, boys. McAvoy to Kole Akavo. There you go. That's out of the way. So, first overall pick for the San Jose Sharks. Let's uh, let's let's do this. So it's saying Barrett's gonna go first, but we have other things in mind. As <laughs> as said in the chat, defense wins championships. Anthony Vernarski. Looks like he could be an all-around threat for years to come for the San Jose Sharks. Let's choose this guy. Please at least medium elite. Come on, come on, come on. All right, medium elite, 80 overall. Looks solid. All right, let's see his, uh, his, his exact stats. Yeah, he's already a top six defenseman, so he could play in the NHL this year. 83 offensive awareness, so that's pretty good. He could play on the power play, penalty kill. Uh, physical category is actually not bad. Yeah, all around, uh, all around pretty solid. Okay, so I should actually be keeping up with these injuries. Ooh, Eiserman. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Six months with an ACL. Oh, rip, Steve Eiserman. That that's that's potentially career ending right there for him. He might retire. <laughs> Six months. Yeah, he's out till. Yeah, he's. He may even be gone until training camp maybe not even until after training camp of next year <laughs> eisenman retires due to injury oh rip steve eisenman that that's that's potentially career ending right there for him he might retire <laughs> wow um <laughs> uh eisenman i'm so sorry buddy i mean I, ooh, ooh, those Player ability stats, th those those scouting stats. Ooh, I think we've just found ourselves a new scout, boys. Yes, we have. Yes, indeed, we have. Perfect. <laughs> okay, we got the second overall pick, and I know exactly who we're going to be choosing. It's going to be Darren McLeod. And 
Let's hope he's a good one. Welcome to the team. Yes! 82 overall, medium elite, 17 years of age, 88 offensive away. <laughs> this guy's already great. He's going to be on the power play year one. <laughs> He's not bad defensively either. 75 face-offs, 85 defensive winners. 